Are you having trouble generating text and words in mid-journey? Don't worry, a new AI platform called Ideogram just opened up to the public, which specializes in combined AI text and image generation. It's free and super easy to use, and I'll walk you through everything you need to know. At the end, we'll take a look at animating the images to get motion and vectorizing them for print purposes. To create an account, head to ideogram.ai. Check the description for links. I'll sign in through my Google Gmail account. On the home page, you have the prompt interface with some settings. Let's take a quick look at what other people have done. The trending tab contains images other people are working on. The text embedded into the image designs jump out immediately. There's a bunch of logos and graphics with clear and readable text, which is unique compared to other image generators. Click on any image and it'll zoom in and display the prompt used to generate that image. Here's a clever one about astronauts. All right, enough looking. Let's try it ourselves. In the prompt box, let's ask for a pizza restaurant with a neon sign that says pizza fever. Below the prompt, different styles will pop up that you can select to give additional input to the model. Click on see all to look at all the possible styles. Lucky styles will randomly select three styles for you to use. I want this to look like a real place, so I'll use the styles photo and cinematic. Press enter or click generate to start the image generation. You can track live progress of four images generated based on your prompt. The text in the results look really promising and generally correctly spell out pizza fever in neon signs, although there's a couple of inconsistencies. For example, there's some small text here that looks like gibberish. To fix that, click on the image, then select the remix option. This works similar to remix in mid-journey, where the AI will use the initial image as reference to generate a new image based on the prompt. We'll keep the prompt the same and just use the generated image as a reference. Hit generate and wait for the model to finish. The blur text is removed and the pizza fever sign is clear and bright. Some of the generated people look a bit off and that's not the strength of this AI generator. It's more suitable for graphics and text. So let's try generating a t-shirt logo with the graphic design of a panda samurai with text that says panda life. These look promising. The text that we asked for, Panda Life, is clearly generated and displayed in all the images. And the designs are unique. A really cool feature of Videogram is that you can prompt with other languages besides English. Scrolling through the images in the trending tab shows prompts done in other languages. Here's a graphic design generated with Spanish text on it. I'm not sure what this means, but let's try it for ourselves. So I'm in Google Translate, and I'll ask for it to translate a woman wearing a t-shirt that says, I love Mexico, from English to Spanish. Then I'll copy and paste the Spanish text into the ideogram prompt. Finally, I'll add the photo style to the generator. Before we go ahead and click generate, let's try changing the aspect ratio. There's three options. 10 to 16 is vertical, 1 to 1 is square, and 16 to 10 is a horizontal image. For the photo, I think a vertical aspect ratio makes the most sense, so I'll go with 10 to 16. These images look pretty close to what we want, although there's a few incorrect letters here and there. I'll select this one I like and use the remix button with the same prompt to generate new images. And there we go. The text is correct and the design even has the colors of the Mexican flag on it. As far as the resolution goes, the 10 to 16 aspect ratio generates images with 640 by 1024 pixels. 1 to 1 is 1024 by 1024 and 16 to 10 is 1024 by 640. I'm not sure why they don't have 9 to 16 and 16 to 9 aspect ratios that are much more common, but I'm sure they'll add them in the future. As far as the interface goes, Ideogram is like a social media website. You can find people whose images you like and follow them by heading to their homepage. Then you'll be able to see their prompts in the follow tab. There's also a Discord channel you can join at the login screen. But as far as I can tell, there's not much in here yet as it's a brand new platform. Now to do a quick comparison with Midjourney. In terms of text, Ideogram is infinitely better than Midjourney as Midjourney is unable to understand and generate text at all. Ideogram is specifically trained and designed for this purpose, so it's not much of a comparison. However, if you're not prompting for text, in terms of overall image quality, Midjourney is ahead. Ideogram is subject to a lot of the common AI image generating mistakes like weird looking hands and image artifacts without the quality and sharpness of details that Midjourney offers. But it is free and doesn't require any additional setup or computational resources on your end. So if you need a free image generator with the ability to render text that's simple to use, Ideogram gets the job done. Let's see what happens if you try animating these text embedded images with Pika Labs. Inside my private Discord message with a Pika bot, I'll use the slash animate command. Then select an image to animate. 
I've got some zebras I created earlier. Next, I'll enter a prompt, zebras walking. Let's take a look. The zebras move around and the text wiggles a little bit. It adds another dimension to our image from Mediogram. Here's an image of a soccer avatar I found on the trending page. I'll use it as a reference and then prompt for a man speaking. The text is preserved while the person is animated. You can see him mouthing some words. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. If you're using Ideogram for logos on designs, the issue is low resolution. At 1024 by 1024 pixels, it needs to be upscaled or vectorized to be used as a design. We can vectorize these images to preserve sharpness using vectorizer.ai. I'll vectorize this Halloween themed image I found on the trending page. Just click and drag the image straight onto the website and it'll start vectorizing. When it's finished, you can scroll to zoom in and out to do a comparison of before and after and confirm that the sharpness of the vectorized image on the right is preserved. If you're satisfied, click download and select the file format you want. SVG or APS is typical. The downloaded file contains the vectorized graphic that preserves sharpness when you zoom in. It's great to see a free AI generator that makes text consistently and accurately. Hopefully, this puts pressure on other AI platforms like Midjourney to step up their game. While ideogram images aren't perfect, adding in the flexibility to customize text is a big step. Now, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, make sure to check out my other AI image tutorials and subscribe to my channel to stay updated on the latest AI tips and news. I woke up feeling on top of the world Like nothing's ever gonna bring